Hey, good morning and happy Sunday. Good afternoon, rather. Wow. Um, been busier than busy today. And it's Sunday. It's crazy. But anyway, listen, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been a guest on the show, Breakthrough Walls. Um, I don't know if anybody's even noticed, but I'm not, um, I haven't been doing it every single day. Because it's been, uh, hey Andrea, how are you? It's been, um, it's been, it's been very hectic, very hectic trying to get everybody booked on the show. It's been, it's been crazy. So, um, one of the biggest benefits I want to tell you guys, um, I, I'm with, I have a, a real TV channel with, with Binge Networks. Um, TV. Hey, Mike Chavez, how are you? Stephen Fout, what's up? So um, I have a TV channel with Binge Networks TV out of Miami. And I've had, I, I, look, everybody that's been on is is like most of them. Most of my guests have been, you know, they're an author. A um, lot of multi, multi-millionaires, self-made speakers, um, Sean Hayes, what's up, my brother? How you doing? Brian Hess, what up, bro? Look, Brian, Brian, what's up with that? Ghost Stellars. So, um, I have this TV channel with, um, Binge Networks TV, and it's a, it's globally syndicated. I tagged Bonnie Bruder and, and Denise Duff because I met Bonnie because of Denise, and um, Denise Duff and Michael Duff, if you don't know them, follow them. They're amazing, amazing people. But I met Bonnie, who is the CEO of Binge Networks TV. And and she, I worked out a deal with her and I got a channel on, on their network, which is syndicated globally, by the way. It's syndicated all over the world. It's on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon. Yeah, what happened to the Buckeyes? They look like uh, LSU did last week. Um, anyway, the um, it's syndicated on on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon, Sony, um, Samsung. It's built into the smart TVs, so they have a a viewership of like four or five million people right now. And according to Bonnie, a couple of months ago, I had the um, I had the number one show on the network out of hundreds of shows. Um, which blows my mind, but um, you know I've had some amazing authors and celebrities and and just straight up amazing people on the show. I have some amazing guests coming up um, that you know. Look, hey Lisa Marie Kennedy, Dale Childress Jr. is in the house. So look, I've had a lot of amazing people on the show. A tremendous amount. Uh, I've done well over a hundred interviews, um, and and I just started it in April. But I haven't been able to do it every single day as much as I wanted to do it every day. It's just it's very difficult to get. Um, hey, Lisa Copeland, what's going on? James Ziegler, look at that. We got Jim Ziegler, the Alpha Dog, in the house. What's up? Aggie Hall, what's going on? So so I, I just wanted to kind of say thank you to everybody that's been on. What's going on, Robert Brooker? I want to say thank you to everyone. I want to say thank you to Denise Duff and, and Bonnie Bruderer. Denise, thank you for introducing me to Bonnie. This being out on Binge Networks TV means that I can turn on my Apple TV and, and watch my show along with some other very amazing shows on the network. So, you know, I'm very, very grateful for that. And, and I'm very grateful that, that everybody I've had on the show. And again, you know, it's not, it's not huge. It's only four or five million people that, that may, may see you. <laughs> That's that's actually quite a bit, but you know I, I don't know how many actually see it, but it's a lot, and I'm very very grateful for everybody that's been on. I thank you all. Jim Ziegler's been on. He's a rock star. Susan, thank you. I, I'm not. I don't even know about. I'm. I, you know. Um, I think humility starts with 
with um, gratitude. And there's, you know, it starts with gratitude. That's that's what humility is about, is, is gratitude, in my opinion. Brenda, thank you for sharing. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you to anybody who shared. I think I saw Robert Brooker shared too, so thank you. But anyway, so if you're not following the page, Breakthrough Walls, go over and follow it. Just give it a, give it a like. I tagged it in this video, Breakthrough Walls. Go, go follow it. Go, come on, like my page, please. I'm begging. And I don't normally beg, but I'm begging. I'm kidding. I'm not begging. If you don't want to like it, don't like it. But I, I, I appreciate everybody that does. Aggie Hall shared. I just saw it pop up over on the screen. So listen, you know, I have had some amazing people I mean, uh, uh, Jim Ziegler's been on, Lisa Copeland's been on, I've had Bob Berg on, Sharon Lecter, Sharon sold, do you know Sharon has sold over 30 million books? My gosh, 40, or 30 million books is insane. It's insane. Humility starts with gratitude. That's right, Susan, it does. What's up, Danny Levin is in the house. Uh, this guy is about to be a guest on the show. Wait till y'all meet him. Danny Levin is a new friend of mine that reached out to me the other day. And actually, Danny, check it out, dude. Got it today. I got Danny's book. It's called The Mosaic. I got it in today. And I'm telling you, I can't wait to read this, but, um, this guy, like, have you guys ever heard of Hay House Productions or Hay House? Is it Hay House? Hay House, Louise Hay's company, the publishing company that she published all of Dr. Wayne Dyer's stuff. I, 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 many, many, many others. I believe Deepak Chopra and and many others. But um, he took them. He was he helped them go from $3 million a year in sales to over $100 million a year in sales. That dude is a rock star, and he's going to be on the show, so I'm very grateful. Jill Rudler, how you doing? So, um, you know, I just wanted to hop on and say thank you. Thank you to everyone who's been on. Every single guest has brought their stories, their stories of tragedy, stories of overcoming the tragedies on breakthrough walls. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm beyond grateful. I'm blown away with some of the people I've had on, like Jeffrey Gittimer. I mean, he's got the number one best-selling sales book ever on planet Earth. Like he sold over 5 million copies of the Little Red Book of Selling, and he has been on twice two different times. And I believe he's going to come on again because he's got another book that, that he just came out with, with Napoleon Hill Foundation. So we're going to, we're going to promote that. But, but you know, and, and I'm, there's Anthony Santangelo. Anthony's been on the show. He's amazing. I mean, like this, this is what I'm talking about. So many valuable insights and here's the biggest benefit for me. Thanks, Samuel. I appreciate you, brother. Here's the biggest benefit for me. I'm connected to, what do I have? 12,000 followers on Instagram. I've got, you know, what, 27,000 people on my public page. Thanks, Jim. Jim Ziegler, you rock, dude. Uh, 27,000 people on my, my public Facebook page, 5,000 friends. And, you know, with all of these people that I'm, I'm connected to and you guys are all connected to, we're all connected, right? And that's what this book is about, about the connectivity of every human on this planet. But, you know, the, the, here's the thing. I don't know everybody. I don't know everybody, not on the level that I want to know everybody. So I've had, I've had some amazing people come on and by, by, you know, we get on Skype because it's always done through Skype. We get on Skype and we get to know each other before the show starts and we stay on Skype and we get to know each other after the show's over. And then during the show, I get to interview each person and ask them sometimes very personal questions that they answer. Hank Norman was on. His 
business partner, um, Steve Carlos was on from Two Market Media. And I got to know those guys. Hank Norman said, wow, man, I can't believe that, that, that I'm going to tell you this. Nobody's ever asked me that question. I was like, what? He's like, nobody's ever asked me that. And I forget what the question was. You'll have to go back and rewatch it. But it was, you know, an amazing show. I've had Ray Abood on the show. I've had, um, gosh, so many people. It's impossible for me to remember every single person's name. Megan DiMartino, how in the world are you? I see you on here. So, you know, like, thank you. That's all I have to say. I just have to say thank you. Speaking of Oprah, I have, I, did you guys see the video I did the other night about Johnny Wimbry? Johnny Wimbry is a new client and a new friend of mine. Um, we're, we're redoing his, his website. And Johnny is absolutely an amazing guy. He's been on the Steve Harvey show several times. And I said, um, I, I called him, I said, I, we were talking, I said, dude, I was stalking you on Facebook and there's pictures of you and your wife and, and Oprah on your on your Facebook page. And he goes, oh yeah, Mama O. And I said, what? Come on, man. He knows, up like, that's what I'm saying. And he's going to be on the show. The guy is unbelievable. Absolutely an amazing guy. Elise Kephart in the house. She's been on the show. She's a rock star. So I've had some amazing people come on and tell their story and just open up. Kevin Bacon, we have a senator in the house. Kevin Bacon, state senator of the great state of Ohio. Ah, go Bucks. That was talk about a game last night. It wasn't much of one. The Buckeyes got their rear ends handed to them. Which hey, that has to happen, you know. Sometimes, like loss, losing a game is sometimes it's just it's it's what it's about. You got to go down sometimes to get back up. So, you know, listen, I am very very grateful for everyone. Kevin Bacon, uh, he he he's a he's an attorney. He's a a um, state senator here in Ohio, and a good good friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine and a client for many years now. And I'm going to convince, who wants to see Kevin Bacon on my show? Everybody, everybody drop a one if you want to see Kevin Bacon, the great, the original Kevin Bacon on the show. Just drop a one if you want to see him on. And then I want you guys to harass him, harass him for me, because I've asked him 10 times. He said, he's saying, yes, he'll do it. I'm going to send him a link and we're going to get a state senator on the show and I'm going to I'm going to ask him the tough questions. <laughs> I'm going to be like uh I don't know, Sean Hannity, I'm kidding. Sean Hannity followed me on Twitter, which blew my mind. But anyway, so, and it's the real Sean Hannity. But anyway, like, listen, thank you. I just say, I just want to say thank you to everybody for, for being on my show. Anyone that's been on today set up. All right, dude, I'll send you the link again to the calendar to the, to get on the show. Anyone that's been on my show, listen, I, I've had people that, that, that you know, I, I want people that have done some amazing things in life and reached super levels of success. I know you were on Hannity's show once, dude. Does he follow you on Twitter? <laughs> Is it you that got him to follow me on Twitter? So, so like, like, you know, I want people that have been to the top of the world. I want authors. I want people that, like Kevin Bacon, is he's, dude, he's, he ran for Congress. He ran for Congress recently. And, and, you know, like the dude is amazing. So I want people on the show and I can't have everybody on the show that wants to be on the show. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm protecting the integrity of the show too. I want to make sure that we have people on that have, have been to the top and, and, and really accomplished some great things in life. We all learn from those people, you know, and I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that, that, you know, people can't get there because everybody can get there, but get there, push, take some of these stories that these folks are sharing of their, of how they've faced some unbelievable, unbelievable battles and risen to the top. Take their stories, use it. Hey, Mary, how are you? So listen, I, I just wanted to jump on, don't apply. <laughs> 
No, Jim, I'm not saying that, man. I'm not saying that because I don't feel that way about people. But I, you know, I think that we got we got to make sure that you've you've actually accomplished something in life that you know. So anyway, um, <laughs> Jim, don't apply if you suck. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I I have some people that have hit me up and said, "Hey, it your show has given me a goal. I'm making it my goal that I want to be invited by Ken Walls to be on Breakthrough Walls." So, Jim, Jim Jim's a comedian, y'all. Don't pay pay him no attention. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed now. But no, I don't want people that, I, I'm not saying that people necessarily, you know, are, are bad. I just want to make sure that you, you, uh, you, you've done something, like really something. Not just talk about doing something, but you've really done something. But anyway, so, hey, I appreciate all of you. Jim, thanks for the laugh. Jim's a funny guy. So um, thank you to all the people who have been on. Thank you to all of you that follow the show and watch these amazing people tell their stories because it's it's a lot of fun. It's been a blast for me, and I've learned so much. I've gotten to know so many people so much better. So thank you all. Have an awesome Sunday, and I will catch you soon. Peace out. Have a great day.